Congratulations. Our next awardee will be presented by our colleague from District 7, Supervisor Sean Ellsberg. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to invite up my friend Celine Keneally to the uh, podium. Um, as she approaches, just a, a little biographical uh, information about Celine. Celine uh, joined us in San Francisco a little over 10 years ago. Uh, and, and without question, San Francisco is much the better uh, ever since her arrival. Uh, Celine, as soon as she arrived, uh, came and went and worked for the uh, Irish Immigration Pastoral Center. Uh, and, and now it's uh, very safe to say there is nothing that happens at the center that uh, does not happen without Celine's knowledge, without Celine's participation. Uh, and, and that is just the beginning of what Celine has done for the Irish community. Um, the, beyond just the center, anything involving the Irish community in San Francisco, it, it, I'm, I'm hard pressed to think of one event I've attended where Celine hasn't played an instrumental role. And then that's just even more of the beginning about Celine. Uh, beyond her work, there is um, the dedication that she has to the people in the community, where I think uh, the vast majority of us have her cell phone number because she makes herself accessible to all of us, whether it is something as simple as uh, giving us a phone number to far more important personal assistance, uh, helping individuals who are in housing crises, who are in job crises, who may have some sort of personal crisis in their lives. Celine has given so much of herself to so many of us. Uh, and, and in thinking about who I wanted to honor today, uh, I wanted to use today uh, a, a, as an opportunity to reward someone who does so much and asks for so little in return and has so many great friends who appreciate all that she does and so rarely do we, we all appreciate her, we all love her, but we rarely put her up on the pedestal that she rightly deserves to be placed on. Uh, and I wanted to use this opportunity to do that. Uh, and and she, has, uh, she has some friends here in the back. Um, and to one of you in particular, Father Brendan, I hope you'll excuse me on this because I'm going to get just a, I, I'm going to get a tad religious on you, Celine, and I apologize. But when I think about you, Celine, I think about a prayer that I had to say every day at St. Ignatius. And Ross, maybe you remember this in your Jesuit training, the prayer of St. Ignatius. And in that prayer, we always asked for guidance to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing I do your will. And Celine, when I say that prayer, you're the person I think of because that is exactly your life and your commitment to the community. And there is no one I can think better deserves this award today. And on behalf of all your friends, on behalf of the community, thank you. And Board of Supervisors, Sean, thank you very much. Um, I'm, fl I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Um, I really wasn't expecting that. Um, there's, there's a term uh, that we use in Ireland, and it comes from our, our farming background, and it's called mehel. And mehel is the concept of community coming to help communities. So if it's harvest time, each farmer goes from farm to farm to farm, helping each farmer bring in their crops and, and, and save their hay and cut their silage. And it's very much what we are about at the Pastoral Centre um, it's all community-based, community-built, community-organized, and community-led. And it has been my great honor and privilege to work there for 10 years. Um, it's been tough, and it's been good, and it's been rewarding. I've made the most wonderful friends. We have a wonderful Irish community. It has been part of this city for the hundreds and hundreds of years, as we will see in any street name on any corner around the city. And it continues to be strong and to be vibrant and to be involved. Um, we have many, many immigrants, many undocumented immigrants living in the city, all of whom recognize and acknowledge that they are part of this city and want to be part of this city and are proud to, going forward, call themselves San Franciscans, whether they are in a documented or an undocumented status. Um, for all of the other women who are acknowledged here today and have received today's award, it's, it's just great to stand with you to look at all of the good work that is done throughout our community on behalf of people who need help and who need someone to give them a voice. Um, I do have the back row gallery. Um, it's like Sunday Mass. They fill the back pews first. 
And I think it might actually be the first time that the Board of Supervisors meeting is being watched on the internet in Ireland. There are a few people <laughs> who are watching live. So uh, thank you all very, very much, Sean. Thank you very much. And Olivia, thank you for all your help and support. I need a picture. <coughs> On behalf of the board, to everyone watching from Ireland, welcome from San Francisco. <laughs> and